What's up, Ada Nation? Welcome to Dapp Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. My name is Fareed. Today, I'm excited to share with you guys some pretty big news when it comes to Cardano and interoperability. This is off the back of the official launch from Dex Hunter of their cross-chain swaps. So this allows for you to swap anything coming in from Solana. It also allows for you to swap from ETH or Ethereum, as well as Polygon or Matic. And it also includes swap features for stable coins such as USDC, USDT, and DAI. So this is just the very beginning. The team is working to add additional networks, which also include Bitcoin. Now, before I jump into exactly how these swaps work and how you can get access to them, I do want to quickly go ahead and play a video which was released by the team earlier yesterday. So without any further ado, let's take a look at exactly how these cross-chain swaps work. So first, in terms of access, you can access it by utilizing the left-hand navigation. You can also go ahead and search for the cross-chain feature from the top menu bar or from the top search bar. Once you do that, you've got the field that you want to go ahead and utilize to um, buy from, right? From there, they've selected Solana. They can then select the Phantom Wallet. And then right below is the Cardano native token that they'll be receiving. One thing to note is that a lot of the Cardano native assets are supported. However, they don't have support for ADA. Again, keep in mind this is a beta and that they will be adding that in the next couple of days. Now, on the opposite end of the spectrum, you can do the same exact thing. Take your Cardano native tokens and actually swap those over for ETH or Solana or Matic, USDC, USDT or DAI if you have a MetaMask wallet. So congrats to the entire uh, Dex Hunter team. This is a huge upgrade that we've needed for quite a bit of time. This not only allows for quick swaps between ecosystems, right, through Dex Hunter, but this could be a huge boost for anybody who's looking to interact with Cardano DeFi without having to go through a centralized exchange. If I'm not mistaken, the only way that you could actually do this type of um, swap before would have been through taking your ETH or your Solana to a centralized exchange, for example, like Binance or Coinbase. And then from there, swapping that ETH over for ADA, sending that over to your Cardano native wallet, and then connecting that ADA wallet to a platform like Dex Hunter and then making the swap. So as you guys can see, that would have been a lot more transactions or a lot more transaction fees being charged by the end user, as opposed to utilizing something that is decentralized, for example, like Dex Hunter. Now, I do want to be clear here in stating that the team will be releasing a fully dedicated article about how the cross-chain swaps work. And again, keep in mind, this is just the beta. But when I did have N. Mellon on the channel to talk about the cross-chain swaps, he mentioned that there are some transactions taking place in the background. So when you're swapping out your soul, for example, Snack or Hunt, there's actually a conversion taking place from Solana to ADA and then from ADA to whatever Cardano native asset that you've picked. Again, there's the obfuscation happening in the background. And in terms of just speed and reliability, from what I've seen so far, it does appear that these swaps take a little bit longer. Again, there's more steps involved. However, it appears to be taking anywhere from six to 10 minutes. So um, relatively speaking, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, that is still much faster than you trying to take the time to do a lot of these swaps on your own, going through some sort of centralized exchange. Again, this was just a pretty brief update surrounding the Dex Hunter platform. If you guys do want to go ahead and actually check it out on your own, you can head over to um, the following website, which is dexhunter.io. If I jump over here, I can click on the open app option. And then from the left hand side, here, I've got access to my cross chain swaps. Very similarly, you can go ahead and actually click on the search bar here and then click on the cross chain swap icon here. So let me just go ahead and just open it up here from the left hand side. And then as you guys can see here, I've got Solana, Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, Arbitrum, DAI, Tether, and USD. As I mentioned earlier, the team will be adding additional assets. If I jump back over here, let's see exactly what those are. It states here that soon they'll be adding BTC and Cosmos ecosystem support, which includes TIA or Celestia, Atom, Injective, etc. So a lot of liquidity could be coming in from those networks, especially as people make um, profit, right? 
with airdrops that might be taking place outside of Cardano. So jumping back over here, once you select whichever asset that you want, you can quickly go ahead and connect your wallets. Just expanding that wallet option here, we've got MetaMask, Phantom for Solana, and then Exodus, which is actually a pretty big wallet, which I believe supports over 15 different cryptocurrencies, um, including Bitcoin, Cardano, Ethereum, etc. So um, again, making this very simple, once you connect your wallet, you're then able to select which Cardano asset that you want to receive on the Cardano network. That will do it here for today's video. Want to keep this relatively short and quick. Congrats to the entire Dex Hunter team for the work that they've put out. Again, I think this is huge for interoperability and huge for liquidity in terms of Cardano. So um, they're really putting the ecosystem here on the map. And I would love to see more cross-chain swaps or more cross-chain features coming from other DEXs as well as other aggregators as well. As always, if you guys learned anything as a part of today's video, I would appreciate you if you could hit that thumbs up. It really does make a difference. If it's your first time stopping by DAP Central and you want more content like this, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions for me surrounding Dex Hunter or other projects building on Cardano, then make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you